Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. It's Mr. Squatch and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. And before we get anything, I just want to remind you guys if you're not subscribed to subscribe, turn on the bell notification icon so you get notified anytime I go live or post a video and always make sure to like the videos as well because when you like the video, it helps me continue to want to make more. And also when I stream, it's nice to get a whole bunch of likes, many people are enjoying the streams. Also, I always forget to plug my merch. I literally never talk about it. It's something I really need to get into talking about. So if you would like to, you can go to the link in the description for uh, stream elements. It's where I have my merch at. I'm right now wearing one of my hoodies. It's uh, the Mr. Squatch hoodie. It just says Mr. Squatch across it. And then my girlfriend also has the other one with my picture of my face on it, my logo on it. And then we have t-shirts, we have tank tops, phone cases, mouse pads, any of that stuff. So if you guys want to grab some merch, go to the link down in the description and grab some merch. Um, unfortunately you can only really use paypal to pay for it that's the only bad thing i don't like about it but we're almost at 10k subscribers and i should be able to use teespring from youtube i might try that to see how that goes i don't know because youtube's kind of like and they take a lot of your money away from you so i don't know if i want to use that yet but make sure you go check out the merch see if you want to get anything um i've dropped the hoodies they're down to like 35 dollars the shirts are like 25 dollars Normally they're like 45, 35. So I've dropped everything 10 bucks or more on the website than what it normally originally was when you started. So make sure to go check out the merch guys. Um, but today we're gonna be getting into how to beat the dungeon boss that is currently in, which is the fire chicken, the Arjun Tustis, however you pronounce it. So a lot of people complain about this boss and even I used to complain about this boss because the gust, the gust literally blows you back into the lava and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just screwed. You either try to kill it super quick and you get lucky. Like yesterday, Iguana was talking about RNG. She was saying this boss is very RNG and I used to think the exact same thing, but it's not. There's actually a video someone showed me on my stream yesterday, exactly how to beat the boss, basically every single time. I got unlucky once and it almost blew me into the lava, but we beat it probably another six, seven times last night on stream, even with three people. No, I think we did four. No, I think the most we did was three people. But anyway, let me go get into the dungeon. I will get all the way to the boss and then uh, we'll come back. We'll get in and I'll show you guys exactly how to beat this dungeon boss with no issue. Um, well, I, I'm going to say you can bring a combo, a shotgun. The one of the videos I saw, the guy was using tech gear and a tech rifle. I'm not going to use my tech gear. I'm just going to bring a tech rifle. But by no means do you have to have a tech rifle or anything. I'm going to say combo or shotgun or mostly combo was what the what the video was. But I'm gonna show you guys, it doesn't matter. You can use anything you want. The tech rifle just blows back the boss, which is kind of nice. But in this spot you sit in, it's pretty much guaranteed you'll beat the boss. So we'll be right back in a few seconds and I'll show you guys how, how, you, how you do this. Alrighty, we are to the boss teleporter. And before we went in, I basically just wanted to show you guys real quick or talk to you guys a little bit how I'm going to do this when I go in there besides showing you guys the spot you need to stand. In the video I watched, the guy used a tech rifle, which basically helps to knock the RG back. And I thought that was very essential to beating the boss, but when I started doing it more, I figured out that that doesn't matter because the spot you stand in prevents you from being blown back by the RG. Now there is one instance where it can still knock you backwards is if the RG gets behind you and then does its gust attack. But that didn't happen to us very often last night, especially if you have two to three people running it. You can literally kill the RG boss in about literally two to three seconds. I'm, and I'm not exaggerating. Um, you can go see my stream to find out. But I find it fun to use a tech rifle anyway, just to kind of shoot him and blow him back some. It's fun. Um, but when we go in here, I will show you exactly where you want to go stand. So as soon as you get in, you're always going to spawn over here. And uh, right here, there's this little divot. See, the boss is that way. There's this little divot right here. Walk really slowly down into it. And then now you're in his little cradle right here. So when he comes, you can just start shooting him. Knock him back. He's going to do his gust attack. See how the gust didn't knock me back? And now I can just switch to my shotgun. I'm still, I'm, well, I'm, I'm out of the divot a little bit. Go back into the divot if you get knocked out of it um, and just start shooting him. So always make sure you're still in that divot. And sometimes he will literally just stay right here. But here's the other instance where he couldn't blow you back when he gets behind you like this. So be very careful because he still can't get behind you and get you and knock you into the lava. So basically just keep shooting as quick as you can. The thing is, if he does gush you backwards, you should get you should get blown back to the rock behind you. Um, 
but basically this really this prevents you if like he's gonna do the gust attack well he might it just depends this boss is weird anyway if you're in this if you're in this little divot he pretty much just flies around you you keep shooting him bam it's dead like that quick again you spawned over here you walk over here and you see this little cradle like cradle divot whatever you want to call it right here on the edge just literally walk real slow go down as close to the edge of the lava as you can and then when he blows you back this lip keeps you from basically being blown backwards completely into the lava and you don't have to use a tech rifle i know a comp bow also helps as well so if you want to use a comp bow the comp bow can help um because i think the comp bow kind of like knocks him back as well but that right there is how easy this boss has been to be for me now this is literally an easy boss it get die super quick I like heck the dodo boss in my opinion can actually be a little bit harder because the dodo boss can one tap you easier than the rg can um once you know how to do it like once you know how to use this little secret to beat him um so yeah that is how you do it guys i hope that really helped you i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did please leave your thoughts and comments down below thank you to um our i think it was our gaming it was in my chat last night thank you to him for helping me learn that divot um no name all the guys who help you know we were like you know brainstorming and thinking how to beat this boss thank all you guys so much i really do appreciate it like i said don't forget to subscribe buy some go get some merch from the merch store um turn on the bell notification like the video and uh that is it guys i'll see y'all later take it one at a time peace out